many of you have ever felt stuck? Maybe even paralyzed with fear? You want to do something differently, you want to make that life change, but you just can't seem to take that step. Do you know how many thoughts we have in a day? Take a guess. 2,000. Approximately 40,000 thoughts a day. And of those 40,000, 98% of them are the same. Talk about a broken record <laughs> going through your head. And of those 98%, guess how many of them are negative? Almost 80%. Well, it's no wonder we're stuck. It's no wonder we can't find those answers. So how can we get unstuck? How can we find another system of resourcing our inner intelligence? I was working with a group of A-type entrepreneurs. You know the kind of people that need answers yesterday? Anybody know anybody like that? <laughs> so one guy, John, said, fine, I'll do it. I've got something. It's impossible. Nobody's been able to help me. I was like, all right, maybe that's true, but let's give it a try. So it turns out it was a very difficult situation. It was a personal one. His sister was a drug addict. She had two kids and her life was a mess. So John felt like all of the responsibility was his. And up until this point, he had done everything to help her. But it was beginning to weigh on him, both financially and his time, and also his emotions. So I asked John, so what perspective do you have on this situation right now? He's like, it's, it's, it's helpless, it's impossible, I told you. Okay, so let's stand in helpless. I was like, where do you feel that in your body? And you can see the confusion and the brain synapses crossing. He's like, what? Where do I feel it in my body? I was like, yeah, where, where do you feel it? I, I don't know, I, my shoulders and my chest, I guess. And you could see his shoulders were caving in. There was this heaviness. I was like, what color is it? And he scoffed. Oh, color is going to help me? Maybe. What is it? He's like, I don't know. It, it's, it's gray. But temperature, it feels cold. Then he stepped into superhero, I can do anything mode. From here, it was purple. He, he felt like beating on his chest. He could hear bass drums going behind him. Here, he felt power energy was going throughout his entire body. This was his most powerful place. Then we stepped into, forget it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm tired of it. I don't have to do anything. It doesn't matter. Here the color was white, and he could hear church bells, and he felt this, this hollow place in his heart. So I said, if you could choose any of these perspectives, which one would you go back to? And he's like, well, superhero, I can do anything, of course. Why wouldn't I choose that perspective? Good question. Why wouldn't you? So I had him step back into superhero embody it. He got in, he started to beat his chest, he could hear the bass drums going, he could see that color purple, and I said, from this one place, what's one thing you would do in regard to your sister? And I was just like, just say something, just say anything. I clapped my hands and I was like, just say anything. And he said, I, 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 I don't know, I, I, would, I, would, I would tell her I love her. And in that moment, time stopped. You could have heard a pin drop. And suddenly this, this tall, strong, successful man just began to cry. He's like, I, I've never told her that I, I love her. The entire family dynamic changed because of one piece of information, so simple, so personal, so specific. And we all have the capacity to do that. We don't have to be stuck. We can find our own powerful position. And from that place, it triggers the neurons within our bodies and shoots to our brain and it helps us to find that creative place and to find that body intelligence that's within us all. You don't have to be stuck. The 
possibilities are endless and the answers are within you.